Liberty University says Jerry Falwell Jr. offered to resign as president of the Evangelical Christian School, but then changed his mind. It comes amid allegations that Falwell and his wife had a sexual relationship involving a pool attendant they met more than eight years ago. Falwell, a prominent evangelical Christian leader, is the son of Liberty University's founder, he reportedly denies having any role in the affair. Jerika Duncan is following this story. Jerika, do, do we know why Falwell took back his resignation? You know, it is still unclear, Anthony, at this time as to what that was about. The university said that Falwell agreed to resign, and then it was later on yesterday that Falwell was telling reporters that he did not have plans to leave permanently. Questions about Jerry Falwell Jr.'s leadership at Liberty University in Lynchburg, Virginia, come after John Carlo Granda claimed in an interview with Reuters that he had a years-long sexual relationship involving Falwell's wife and the evangelical leader. Granda said he was 20 when he met the Falwells while working as a pool attendant at a Miami Beach hotel in March of 2012. Granda said their relationship continued until 2018 and involved him having sex with Becky Falwell while Jerry Falwell looked on. Granda shared evidence with Reuters to support his account, including this phone call. His new thing is like telling me every time he has sex with people, like, like <laughs> I don't have feelings or something. You're my gazelle, sir. Uh, yeah. Not trying to do that. But Falwell's version of the story is different. Falwell issued a statement to the Washington Examiner saying his wife had an inappropriate personal relationship with a man they had first met while on vacation and later went into business with. He went on to write he was not involved in the affair, but the man began threatening to publicly reveal the relationship unless Falwell and his wife agreed to pay him substantial monies. We must unite behind Donald Trump and Mike Pence. Falwell, who spoke at the 2016 Republican National Convention, has been a fierce supporter of President Trump. His wife, Becky, is an advisory board member of Women for Trump and appeared in an interview with President Trump's daughter-in-law, Laura. We look forward to 2020 and winning and making America great again and again and again. Falwell was already on an indefinite leave of absence from the university after he posted this photo on social media with his pants unzipped. He said the photo was taken at a costume party. I'm sure there, there are a lot of Christians, even those who maybe sent their children to Liberty University, attended Liberty University, support Donald Trump, who are disgusted. Uh, by this. John Fia, a history professor at Messiah University, studies evangelical Christianity. Within evangelicalism, you know, you could make racist comments, you could make, you know, uh, you could lie, you could do a bunch of things that are unbiblical. But, but sexual sin has been sort of the primary, uh, the, the greatest sin. It's been this way a long time in evangelicalism, and Jerry Falwell certainly uh, crossed that line uh, if this Reuters story is true. CBS News has reached out to the Falwells and Giancarlo Granda. We have not heard back yet, but the Board of Trustees at Liberty University is expected to meet today on a conference call to discuss the matter. Gail? Oh, boy, so many layers of wrong on that story, starting with the alleged affair, if it's true, with the pool attendant, who was 20-something at the time, to Mr. Falwell allegedly looking on. Just they have a lot to discuss. I've seen a pool attendant. All they ever gave me was a towel. That's a very interesting story. Thank you very much, Jerika.